Hi, my name is Lisa Ritter. I'm broker owner of Remax Results, where we make real estate dreams a reality. And today I want to talk about the most commonly asked question that I get from homeowners that are considering making a move. And that is, can I buy before I sell? Okay, so I want to give a very blunt answer on this. Um, it's one that not everybody's going to love to hear, but I like to tell the potential customers that are going to work with me. I'm not the kind of girl who's going to tell you exactly what you want to hear just to get a sign in the yard. I'm going to shoot you straight. Like, here's the deal. This is the practicality of the matter. Doesn't mean that every once in a while we don't get a miracle, but here's how things typically need to go. Okay, so here it is from a straight shooter. All right, you need to be really, really rich to buy before you sell, okay? You do. Um, it's much harder than it used to be to qualify for two homes at the same exact time, okay? So it can be done, but you have to be very, very financially sound. You usually have to have a fair amount of money in savings and a very low debt to income ratio, meaning you need to have a lot of income and very little debt, okay? And then a lender is going to be able to give you a bridge loan or pre-approve you for two homes. Um, and there's all kinds of good lenders out there that can help you with that, specifically Mike Mancuso for State Bank. He is my favorite, but he pulls off so many miracles for me. And when I say miracles, I'm talking, he just did a loan for a client of ours in two and a half weeks. That's a miracle that you don't hear about very often. Anyway, back to the point. You really do and should sell before you buy. Even if you're rich enough, it doesn't mean that you should do it. Um, it's good to know how much money you're gonna have in hand and you never know that until your home has actually gone under contract, okay? You can estimate the value of your home, but you don't know what its exact worth until you have an offer that you have accepted, okay? So don't do what I did a few years ago. <laughs> it's really, really a tough experience. We did buy before we sell. My husband's very financially sound, makes sure we're very fiscally savvy, and thank God we were able to buy before we could sell, because I love, 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 love my home, but it doesn't mean that we should have done it, because um, we ended up owning two homes for longer than I would have wanted because we were emotionally attached to the value of our home. That can happen even to the best of us, even the most experienced. I get it. So the best course of action if you're considering making a move is this. Evaluate two or three different realtors, see who you feel the most comfortable with, hire one of them, pick accurate pricing based on many advisors, um, no, I'm not talking Zillow. They do not count as an advisor. I'm saying after you've met with two or three realtors and you've arrived at a conclusion of the best positioning in the marketplace and you've selected one, get your home on the market, get it under contract, and then find the home of your dreams. Now, that does that sound a little stressful? It is, it's a little stressful. It's taking a big, big leap of faith, but it is a great time to be a homeowner and we are seeing unprecedented appreciation rates unprecedented continuous low interest rates. It is a phenomenal time to make a large significant investment in a home. You won't go wrong with it, I promise, okay? Even if we were to experience that short-term little bust that some people talk about is coming, it goes back and it goes back huge, often in big, big ways. So. Get your home on the market, just to recap. Get it under contract, then pick up the home of your dreams. Now, if you're very particular, and you're like, I am not just settling for any home. That's cool, I get it. You should not settle for anything less than the best, but you can move into an apartment if that's your attitude. It's all good. Get a place with a pool, nice big common area, pretend like it's a vacation, okay? It can be done, it's the smart way to do it and the best way to go. And as always, my prayer for you is that you not just dream about the life you've always wanted, but take the first step and then the next towards really making it happen.